Anybody on? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, our um, pole sitter for tomorrow night's Sprint Showdown, Martin Truex Jr. He drives a number 56 Napa Auto Parts Toyota. And uh, Martin, talk about your run out there. You certainly had a very strong qualifying run. And uh, talk about uh, trying to work your way into the All Star race tomorrow night. Yeah, it was good. Uh, it's been a good day for us, uh, the Napa team, and uh, obviously a good qualifying lap for us. Wasn't really sure what to expect going out there. Um, you know, it was really hot for practice today, and we always talk about Charlotte being, you know, one of the most difficult places to practice during the day, and then go out when the track cools down and go really fast. So, um, guys did a good job, made some good adjustments for qualifying there, and uh, you know, looking forward to tomorrow night. To uh, you know, we got 40 laps to get it done, and uh, really want to be in this race. So. Uh, we're going to try real hard to win, and hopefully uh, it'll work out for us. Okay, questions? Any questions for Martin? As we look ahead to tomorrow night, the showdown, and then the uh, All-Star. Any questions for Martin Truex Jr.? Right over here to the right, Martin. Uh, Aaron Burns, Moore's Weekly. Martin, you've got a lot of experience in this race. Do you think that's something that kind of factors into giving you uh, kind of an equal advantage along with winning the poll? Yeah, unfortunately, I do have a lot of experience in this race, and uh, I, I don't know that there's an advantage. I mean, especially this year with the new car, you know, this is really the first time we've been here with, with the, the Gen 6 car when it's been hot and slick. You know, we did some testing here back in the winter, but the track was so fast, um, and, and a lot has changed on the race cars since, you know, we tested here as far as what guys are doing to make work and uh, the setups we're running. So, um, you know, I don't know that being in it in the past is, is a big advantage. Um, but we do understand a little bit about how the race works, how, how it's probably going to play out. Um, you know, we, we made a mistake last year by not pitting on the 20-lap uh, caution and got beat by it. So I think this year we'll be, uh, you know, we'll be ready for anything and, and we'll make a good decision on whether to pit or not, and uh, hopefully it'll work out for us. Over here to the right, go ahead. Yeah, David Newton, ESPN.com, from your reaction, your I really want to watch. I really want to watch this. Well, I, well, I was going to ask you, do you are you kind of envious or jealous that you can't be a part of that? I texted, I, I texted Mark after practice, after his practice, see how his car was, just to see, you know, how it was going with him. And I said, uh, how was it practicing for this qualifying? I was like, it looks awesome. I'm jealous. And uh, he said it was insane. So uh, looking forward to watching it for sure. I, I'm definitely jealous I'm not out there tonight. If, if I mean... Everybody says, or from our perspective, says practice or qualifying can be kind of boring. You, you think, from a fan's perspective, that if you did this and added a pit stop in every race during the series, <laughs> that doing something like this would be kind of cool? Well, I don't know. I mean, imagine doing it at a place like Martinsville to see how fast you could go around the corner in three and four and, and then again in one and two, you know, on pit lane. It's, uh, it'd be pretty, pretty treacherous and pretty exciting. So I'm pretty sure they'll never do that. <laughs> um, which is probably, well, yeah, never say never. But uh, for an event like this, it's, it's neat to see them mix it up, do something different. Because, it's, look, it's an all-star race. There's no points. You know, you don't have to go by the book. This is the weekend when you want to throw out all the rules and make new stuff up, which, you know, generally they, they like to do. So uh, it's cool to see that. And I, I just, I'm kind of upset that I'm not out there right now doing this because it looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> and I have to go to a wedding now, so I can't watch it either. I have to, like, get my truck and get to Mooresville, so. Busy man. Other questions? Yeah. It's a good thing you're not in it. You can get to a wedding. I would rather not go to the wedding and be in it than it's not my wedding. <laughs> there you go. Next question. I heard you had your uh, fashion show this week. I heard it was we a did. real success. Catwalk for a Cause, fourth annual. It was, was incredible. We had a lot of... Uh, I see a few people in this room that were there. It was unbelievable, uh, the support from, from all of our sponsors. Happening at Michael Walter Bracing was, was huge. Uh, 500 people, we were sold out for, you know, the past month or so. And uh, it was great to see the kids. It was great that they uh, had a great time hamming it up. I mean, they really worked it. So uh, it was fun to see them smile, have a great day um, in all they have to deal with, to have a day that they, uh, you know, got to forget about everything and just have fun for a little while was great. So, uh for those that came, thank you very much. And uh, for all those that supported it, it was uh, a huge night for all of us. Good deal, Martin. Uh, thank, you, thank you, and good luck tomorrow night, and good luck at the wedding. Thank you.